Hello and welcome back. So this is a Project Pan finale. I am very excited. This is the Drop 10 Before Summer Project Pan. This was a Fantastic Ladies collab and it was started by Jessica and Amanda. I actually got pretty good progress, so I am very excited. So let's get into it. I actually have five empties, so let me show you those first. I finished the e.l.f. setting spray. I've gone through a lot of these. This is one of my favorite setting sprays. It's amazing. And I recently bought the bigger size that they sell now, so that is nice. I finished the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, and I had marked it here, intro, update, update, and it's gone. There may be like a tiny bit left in there, and I tried to shake it out. I couldn't get it out. So yeah, and I tried to actually remove the sifter from the top, but I couldn't do that either. So this is done. I finished this lip gloss by Bare Minerals in Groovy. I don't take stoppers out of lip gloss, too messy, but I did scrape it out. This is a really nice lip gloss. I mean, pinky nude, it's nice, but I have like two or three other lip glosses in this exact color. I finished the Revolution Concealer. I love this, my color is C3. I have Tarte Shape Tape now, and I actually kind of miss this, but Shape Tape is gonna take a while for me to finish. But this one, I did take the stopper out. The stopper comes out really easily out of these, by the way. Yeah, I really, really enjoy this concealer. I really wanna finish the Shape Tape so that I can buy this again, but yeah. It's awesome. One more empty, and that is my perfume. So this is the Bulgari Mon Jasmine Noir, and I'm so happy I finished this up. I do like it, but honestly, it's like a little bit too much jasmine after you wear it for a while. I'm a little bit sick of it. If you like jasmine though, trust me, you would like this because there's a whole lot of jasmine in this. I got this as a gift, and I looked up the price. It, Oh my gosh, this is expensive. It's like 90 something dollars. Whoa, I'm sure that my mom did not pay full price though because she tends to buy perfume at TJ Maxx. But still, holy crap, that's an expensive perfume. But it's nice, but just a little too much jasmine for me. Okay, I have another exciting one and that is my highlighter. This is Becca Prosecco Pop. My goal was to hit pan and I did. Although this is the funniest looking pan I've ever gotten. I'll show you a picture because it's really hard to see. It's right here. It's like a really weird shape. Usually I hit pan in like an oval or something, but I'll show you a photo. It's there. It's a small amount of pan. There's a lot of product in these highlighters. There is 0.28. So yeah, I won't be finishing this anytime soon, but I am very happy that I hit pan. There was one other item that I did hit my goal and that was the e.l.f. Jewel Paw palette. I did hit pan on one of the colors. I have since given that palette away. I actually decluttered about 10 palettes recently. I just didn't feel the need to have it. I had dupes of all the colors and the formula was good, but not my favorite. So I did hit pan, but I no longer have that palette. My face oil, I did make progress on, but I didn't finish it. Um, my skin just hasn't been as dry. So, I mean, here's some update lines, intro, update, update, and like I've barely made progress since that last update, but I haven't needed it very much, but I do love it. This is my favorite, just standard face oil. It is the Boots Organic Face Oil with Rosehip Oil, and there's a few other oils in it too. Anyway, this is my favorite, so I'm in no rush to run out of it because once I do, I'll just buy the same thing again. This is sold at Target and Ulta, by the way, in case anybody is wondering. Then I had my Maybelline Liquid Liner, and I did not wear liquid liner very much. I'm wearing it today, but honestly, I probably use this about once a week. When I wore liquid liner every day, I would finish one of these in about four or five months. But nowadays, this has lasted me, I think, since December, so... It'll probably still last a while, it's going strong, but that's fine, it is the only one I have. And the last item was a lipstick, and this is MAC Velvet Teddy. This is the small size, so this was perfectly new at the beginning, so I was able to flatten it. I did make good progress, mm, I don't know. It's fine, I actually do really like this color, I am wearing it today, so I'm in no rush to finish it, however, I have finished three lipsticks already this year, which is so amazing. I can't even believe it. I would like to finish one more, but I think I'm going to take a break from Project Panning lipsticks and just kind of rotate through my collection for a while. 
and then hopefully I can pick out one more that I can hopefully finish. That is it for this Project Pan finale. I feel like I did pretty well. Five empties is quite good. I did make progress on the other items. So yeah, I am very excited. Check out my Project Pan playlist and thanks for watching.